Colour is definitely very, very important to my films. In fact, they have become more and more important um, when I was making my first film, Ilo Ilo, um, because the film was set in 1997. So it was very, very specific how that decade should look, how that period should look. So it has to do with texture, it has to do with colour. You know, the lipsticks were very red at the time. Um, a lot of the clothes were very gaudy and it was about getting all that right. Um, and even when we were doing the grading for the film, um, I wanted to create a, a sense of that period so it didn't feel like it's, it's a modern day film, it really is set in the 90s. I think for me, like colour reproduction and accuracy is quite important because, you know, you set out as a filmmaker, you have a certain idea or vision or a feeling that you're trying to convey, right? And, and you use light and colours um, and images and, and, and the frame itself. The problem is this, you know, in the past we all watched films in the cinema. So you could control very much what that image is. Um, you know, in the past it was on film and then later on now on, on uh, a DCP and on those projectors, usually the colour rendition is very high. Um, but now, people watch films on too many devices, um, even television. You know, I'm very, very picky when I buy televisions because, because some look too vivid and bright and the colour doesn't look real to me, you know, even though they would market themselves as, as very true and, and real. Um, so for me, it's important that, um, that one, whether you're watching a film on a device or a television, um, that one, one would be able to have that kind of accuracy and, replay, uh, and reproduction. It's the same for projectors. I, I can't see a point why would you want to watch a film on a projector if you're not going to get the same experience as watching it in a cinema. Because the idea of watching a film on a projector is that you have the big screen experience and actually that's what I enjoy very much. It's quite interesting because I've been using quite a few projectors the past um, six months to a year because I'm doing post-production on a new film. And we started off with a really terrible uh, pro projector um, that my editor has and, and have very, very bad experience. Um, and then later on, you know, I, I, I use a better one. And then when I started using the BenQ, the brightness, um, the, the colour reproduction, the accuracy feels um, feels pretty close to what you would have on a broadcast monitor. Um, yeah, and, and uh, it's quite specific, you know, because on you know, the broadcast sort of standards like what Rack 709 and somehow it's able to reproduce that. It really feels like it, um, that, that you're watching your film as close to how your audiences or my audiences um, will watch it in the cinema. And that, for me, is um, it's great. I'm, like I said before, you know, I'm, I'm very much a purist, so I really, really would love for everyone to watch my films in the cinema. But the problem is, a lot of films are not in the cinema for long enough. Sometimes they're out for like two weeks, you know, and it's getting more and more difficult for filmmakers like myself when we make you know, art house films or independent films. Um, it's just difficult because of market constraints. But, you know, if you're not able to watch my film in the cinema, I would love that you'd, you'd see it, you know, in, in, in the best possible way, on the biggest screen possible. Um, and one way is to definitely watch it on at least 2K, watch it on a good projector, um, and watch it with good sound. It's, it's not that hard these days uh, to recreate um, the cinema experience at home, uh, but, but one should have those basic tools, yeah.
I would I would recommend for um, for people who want a home cinema experience uh, to go for a BenQ uh, projector because I think the key thing, just like buying a good TV, <laughs> for me, it's color reproduction. So I think what is interesting about BenQ is that it tries to stay loyal to um, the colors. If you want to watch something, it's best to see it with the filmmaker's intent. You see, this is how they design it. This, this is what they want you to see. Um, that it stays true to the colors that and the palette that uh, a filmmaker sort of envisioned and worked for so long to actually create.